Glaciation happened in the UK during the last ice age. Snow did not melt during this time in high altitudes upland areas, so this snow was squeezed and compressed into ice. The snow collects in the tops of the mountains and in any hollows. This ice begins to move slowly downhill, eroding the ground with which it has contact. The shaping of the landscape is from a number of processes which cause the changes. The most important are erosion, transportation and deposition. These are all used in glaciation to form the new landscapes. There are three types of erosion that happen during glaciation. The first happens when the water enters cracks in the rock. When this freezes, it expands, thus putting pressure on the rocks and weakening them, which can cause them to break away. This process is called freeze-thaw. These rocks can then become embedded in the bottom of the glacier and as the ice moves, can be plucked from the landscape. This is called plucking. The glacier ice will have gathered rocks and debris in its base, which as the ice flows across the landscape, grind away at the earth's surface like a sheet of sandpaper. This process is known as abrasion. Once rocks have been plucked, they are transported away by the ice or water and eventually deposited somewhere new, creating these new landscapes. Corries are formed when the snow collects in the hollow of a mountain and compacts into ice. Freeze thaw begins to affect the surrounding landscape, weakening the rocks. The ice turns into a glacier that overflows the hollow and begins to flow downhill due to gravity. As it moves, it plucks away the loosened rocks and takes them with it. These rocks act like sandpaper against the surface which is known as abrasion. These processes together deepen the hollow. After glaciation and the ice has melted, the large hollow left in the hillside is called a corrie. The glacier will have deposited rocks forming a lip at the entrance. Often, meltwater remains in the quarries, which is known as a tarn.